didn't want to live anymore, so I used to say, I'm going to do whatever it takes for somebody to kill me. So after losing Gaddafi, losing Pac, my life, as I said, I still didn't know my purpose of life. At that particular time of my life, I became suicidal. I became the worst person that I can say. At that particular time, I was the worst person that I ever, at that time, I was the worst. I was at my worst. I was at my worst. I was my worst enemy. I was, man, every day I'm drunk, I'm high. Every day I'm leaving my house with a gun. I was the most angriest person. Man, I was, a, I, was a, I was an animal. I was an animal. I would go to nightclubs. This is how lost I was. I, I'd go to nightclubs, I would get drunk, and I would start fights. Literally. I got to the point where the outlaws, who's supposed to be a gangster rap group, the outlaws start saying, man, we're not going outside with you anymore. We tired of fighting with you, man. We tired of going outside. We tired of, I came to a point in my life, I didn't want to live anymore. You know what I mean? I didn't want to live anymore, so I used to say, I'm going to do whatever it takes for somebody to kill me. I used to ride around, man, a brand new Lexus. You know, when Lexus came out with the, hard, the convertible hard top, you, you press the button and they go in the trunk. I was the first one in that lake, one of the first ones in that lake with that joint. And I used to ride around with an AK-47 in the back trunk. And I used to see people on the corner and jump out on the corner with my jewelry on, a gun in my way. I used to say, please try to rob me. This is my mindset. Well, like, I said, I hope these dudes try to rob me today. Like I was looking for a reason to harm someone. That's because I was so hurt, going through so much pain, but I didn't know how to channel it. You didn't, I didn't know how to channel. I didn't know to turn to my creator and ask for guidance. I didn't know my purpose of life. So I used to think that since I'm hurt, I want to put somebody else through that pain. This was my mindset. And I think when I started to ease down, when I had my first son, you know, when I had my first son, a couple years later, I started to really relax a little bit and say, now I don't want to raise my kids the way that I was raised. But I still, at that particular time, didn't know guidance. I still didn't know my purpose of life. So I still was a wild dude. You know what I mean? I, was, I put myself in so many situations that I look back now and I say, wow, that was God. I was in situations, man, where bullets was coming past, like literally, Allah's my witness, bullets passing my head, my air, I'm feeling it, and going past me, and I survive. Now that I look back at that and I realize that all this time that I was lost, Allah was so merciful, merciful to me, he had me when I didn't even have myself. He was merciful towards me, he was caring about me when I didn't even care about myself. I look back at it and say, man, so many times that I was in a situation, but Allah helped me and I didn't even know, I didn't even realize it because I didn't know my purpose in life.